So what are the three main options that you have when you get to Bimini Bahamas on a cruise ship or on a ferry? We're covering that next. Bimini actually has two islands, North Bimini and South Bimini. The cruise and ferries dock at North Bimini. When you first get off the ship, you'll wait in line for a tram to be available. And this is the Resorts World Tram that has a couple of stops. The first stop, just at the end of this bridge, is where you may pick up a lot of your shore excursions. So that's where we went to get our Sapona Shipwreck and Shark Snorkel excursion. You could walk there or you could take the tram. That first stop is called Kayak Beach. There are kayaks there that you can rent or you can get on the boats there for excursions. This next stop is called Fisherman's Village. There are some shops here and it's also where you want to get off and rent a golf cart if you want to explore the island independently. Golf carts were about $60 per day and it could fit four people on it. If you want a six person golf cart, it probably costs a bit more and they only took cash. I'll show you views from a golf cart a little bit later in this video, but next we're heading to the beach club. Here is a map of the Bimini Beach Club and here's the entrance. So you'll see this when Virgin Voyages is there only Virgin Voyages sailors can go in the beach club. If you're on another cruise line, you probably need to pay for a day pass to come to this beach club and use the facilities and everything. Um, you don't get it for free, but it's a beautiful beach. The sand is really soft. The water is very clear and very turquoise. There's lots of loungers and seating and you can definitely get your sun, not as many umbrellas. So some of the cabanas you can pre-reserve and pay for those. You can rent jet skis. There's the bars here, which you use your bar tab. If you're on Virgin Voyages, it carries over to your bar tab. There is included lunch. If you're on Virgin Voyages, I thought the food was pretty good for an included lunch. There's a bonfire later in the afternoon. And then if you decide you want to explore independently, you can rent the golf cart, like I mentioned earlier, for about $60 per day. If you're going later in the day, there's a chance that you can negotiate that price a little bit. But if you're going to get the golf cart all day, just expect to pay $60 for four people. You might be able to negotiate less than that if you are just renting the golf cart later in the day like we were just for about an hour. So we didn't try bird scooters, but I saw them there. There were also conch stands. There were some museums and shops around the island that you can visit independently. The other thing you can do in Bimini is take a shore excursion. So we did a snorkeling excursion. It was a lot of fun. It actually still gave us time to go to the beach club and even get the golf cart. So it depends how much time you have, how much running around you wanna do, or if you wanna do more relaxing, it's all up to you. So again, I'm Katie your adventure travel advisor and long-term travel coach. So if you'd like help with your next trip, whether it's Bimini, Bahamas, or somewhere else in the world, we'd be happy to help. Check out our links below and schedule a call with us.